the United States has long been known to operate on a rule of law system. In practice, this means that government and its political and administrative agents must be able to find a law, rule, or constitutional provision to justify their actions. Now, let's focus on administrative-centered legal controls, especially administrative rulemaking and adjudication. The administrative procedures in place at the federal and state levels of government share the following characteristics. They require that all agencies regularize their reporting of proposed rules, usually in a formal publication. The procedures require opportunities for comment by potential parties affected by the proposed rule, and the guidelines provide for the appeal of adverse decisions by administrators against individuals. There are two major questions involving the rulemaking process, the answers to which dramatically shape the nature of accountability achieved by a jurisdiction's administrative procedures. First, what is the required burden of proof on administrators before they can adopt a rule? Second, and what is a rule, as opposed to an internal set of managerial guidelines, procedures, or policy clarifications? Accountability is a function of the openness of the rulemaking process and access by citizens to it. Additionally, accountability dictates whether agencies have to listen to the testimony and evidence that is presented. Burden of proof has to do with the amount and kind of information that's needed to make decisions based on less than complete information. The formal definition of a rule under the Administrative Procedures Act, like burden of proof, is also critically important in determining the amount and the extent of administrative accountability that is achieved through the administrative rulemaking process. The administrative rulemaking process provides an opportunity to serve a multitude of potentially conflicting needs of the American democratic system of governance. First, it can be used to obtain useful information that will broaden and deepen an understanding of a given problem and the appropriate range of solutions. Second, it can be used to legitimate a process of governance by providing opportunities for participation. Third and finally, it can be used to provide a check against the arbitrary and capricious exercise of government authority. In addition to their rulemaking authority, administrative agencies frequently perform the same function as courts in their adjudicated role in deciding individual cases. It is deciding the outcome of an individual case by applying and interpreting existing rules rather than developing new rules for future general application. Since justice for the individual is the focus of an administrative adjudication, the main concern is to ensure the appropriateness and correctness of the decision.